All right, family, I know that y'all been waiting. I know y'all been waiting, man. We're doing some more King of the Hill, man. Some more King of the Hill with your boy, with the fam, man. We're going to be having some more, and we're going to be having a King of the Hill marathon coming soon, bro. It's not here today, but it's coming soon. YouTube videos with no cuts, man. We having it over on the Patreon. So if you like the YouTube videos and you want to see them without any cuts, go over to the Patreon. <laughs> Damn, boy, you're hungry. Grandma, you put the cookies back in breakfast. I don't like him when he just, just say things. Like, just, just how he says things. Grandma, you put the cookies back in me. What the fuck? What is, what's up with you? Bad hairline boy? Oh, my goodness, the time. I am field tripping in an hour, and I can't remember any good songs for the bus. Now, what does oh, that stop. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt do again? He goes out, people shout. Not a whole lot more is known about him. His name is my name, too, boy. I'm sorry, honey, but I don't have time I to cook know that. breakfast. Here, promise me that you'll eat two bowls. It is the most important meal of the day. It is okay. not. It is not the most important I meal love of the you, day. Grandma. Morning, son. Boy, Did your mom had time kick. to cook your breakfast before she left? No. Oh, jeez. We got any cereal? I believe we do. Boy, get your evil ass, boy. Another bowl. Hmm. I shall partake. A glass, boy. You gonna, what you is gonna that? hurt your Oatmeal? stomach? Oatmeal? Ugh. Better put some sugar on that. Oh, wow. All right. Now, as you all know, Mother's Day is coming up. And all I right. thought it might be fun to talk about some of the famous moms throughout history who... Own slaves. Uh... What, what, what is the, I don't like him. No. <laughs> Why is he what I was that? going to going to say. Yes. What I what? was going to say. say. Going to say. We heard the preview. Now get to the feature. Bobby. Oh. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. 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 I think you better see the nurse. Okay. It's cocaine. That's what that is. <laughs> Mr. Hill, Ain't no I've sugar do that. your son with attention deficit disorder. He's oh. probably had it for years. What? what? Well, how come nobody ever noticed this before? Very few people have access to the pamphlets. I do. Here, take oh, one. Uh, huh. Pamphlets, you know, I have bro? noticed the boy's mind wanders sometimes when I'm lecturing him. A mental disorder would explain that. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. And that's what, and that's what parents do and other people. They always think like, man, you know, what I'm saying is obviously important because I'm saying it. A child wouldn't tune in. A child wouldn't tune out. Like, of course, bro. Like, what you're saying is halfway boring. What you said, like, I'll be stopping and cutting and, and talking and shit like that. What's well, this too damn bad? Well, that's too damn bad. Personally, I recommend putting <laughs> him on one of the many popular ADD medications now available. I don't like the idea ass. of putting my boy on drugs. Isn't there some kind of operation? Your Weed. only other option is to send him to the special school across town. He'll have to wear a uniform. What? Can he button his own shirt? Stop it, bro. You bastards. Right, real talk. I'll be Ritalin, mad too. Silert, Tofranil, Desupramine. All sounds like goofathol to me. He's really on drugs, though, Key. I mean, like, like, let's, let's be honest, bro. Sugar, high fructose corn syrup, all of that. These, this cereal. The cereal ain't nothing but poison. Sugar ain't nothing but a drug. Like, come on now, you know. What if this is all my fault? This. A mother should be there for her baby when he's in trouble, not halfway across town. Okay. Oh, sure, I'm a hotshot substitute teacher. But sometimes I don't even have time to make my own son breakfast. Huh. It is what well, it is. Well, it is called attention deficit disorder. Maybe the boy's not getting enough attention. <laughs> okay. Well, it could be. Sometimes That's I think good. I should just quit my job and devote myself full time to being a mother. But, uh, you know, what am I saying? Quit my job? That's crazy talk. Now, wait a minute, Peggy. Crazy uh -oh. is a very strong word. You're just thinking out loud. Bobby's crazy. But I just couldn't turn my back <laughs> on my career like that. I'll tell you what, Peggy. My own mom never worked in her life. Home. That's what mattered to her. Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured that Hank would want her to stay at home. I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him, you know what I'm saying? But because if, if he can provide, he can provide... You know, it's nothing like it's nothing wrong with that. But I honestly think that with Peggy, how she is, 
I think she needs to go be a substitute teacher. There's nothing wrong with a woman being a teacher, bro. There's nothing wrong with a woman being a substitute teacher as well. She just kept making it stronger every day until the divorce. Oh, wow. Well, I will save some money on faculty room football pools, and I can get another year out of these glasses. Maybe we can <laughs> try it a little while. Just to for see Bobby's if it works. Hank, if you'll support me on this. It's not going to work, I'll but do yeah, it. you can see. You could definitely see. Now, the see. main thing is not to worry. What you have is... Don't well, give them no medicine. Technically, they call it a disease. A disease? But not a regular disease like you get in your body. It's a much more rare disease in Mitchell. your brain. <laughs> now... That's not nothing to smile at, boy. <laughs> I know we've talked a lot about how you should never do drugs. But from now on, you'll be taking medication after every meal. Oh, so, Lord. do I smoke it or snort it or what? It's what a have pill, you been Bobby. So, I guess I'll just pop it then. You will not <laughs> pop it. You will place it in your mouth. Bobby, <laughs> do you know who I am? I'm Lou Ann. Show me your tits. Show me those bits. I said that out loud, didn't I? But now that we're here... Remember? He has ADD, Luann. He didn't get hit in the head with a coconut. No, for mm -hmm. sure. Here you go, my little angel. Oh, now nice. Now that I'm not working, I had time to make you pancakes. Damn. And we've got eggs and bacon Damn. arranged in one of three facial expressions depending upon your mood. One, two, well, three. I guess I'll take happy, as in happy about this old-fashioned family breakfast. I don't think that's all for, um, I don't think that's for the family. I think that's all just for Bobby. But I, I could better be wrong. go soon or I'm going to miss my bus. Oh, but I may. Well, Bobby, this that is boy, it. Hi. You're going to take your first pill now. And in about a half hour, you should find yourself real interested in stuff that would normally bore the pants off you. Okay, like school and you're talking. Round and round and round it goes. When he eats it, nobody knows. Bobby is going to be bullied. I, I, I can see Bobby getting, but Bobby is going to get bullied in the future. I, I, I see it. I see it vividly. Bobby is going to get bullied. Well, what have we here? Just pop the <laughs> pill, Bobby. <laughs> Feel anything yet? Starting to. That boy is hot. What is that? I don't want. I don't want to be that focused, bro. I do not want to be. That boy is on some superhero shit. Anyway, and then after I sent him off to school, I did a bunch of errands, and I still had time to submit a quotable quote to Reader's Digest. Okay, great. Some people like to stay as busy as a bee. But I like to stay as busy as a B plus. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. But you know, I almost worry I have too much time now. That can be a problem, Peg. Myself, I clip coupons. I think we'd all go a little crazy without coupons. Coupons, boy, sound like my boy Rao. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, going a little crazy without coupons. No, bitch, you look like. Uh, the Diera boy. <laughs> Hi, Diera. <laughs> oh, that's funny. They're crazy. <laughs> They're insane. Uh, Something is wrong with their hairs. They have nothing to do. There are 96 ridges on every checker except this one. <sighs> Family game what? time. I love it. So how was your day, Peggy? Well, I bought an ice cube try. Then... <laughs> I took it back. She's so tired because she she's not doing anything stimulating with her brain. That's all it is, bro. That's the only reason why she's tired. Well, I tell you what, I think I may get out the guitar and have a family sing-along tonight. I tell you what. Just like we used to that okay. one time. Just got to drop by Earl's and get Betsy some new strings. You're leaving the house? You don't have to come, Peggy. I'm sure you've had a full day. You just stay here and relax. That's all she's been doing. Damn! <laughs> mm, funny. I never saw Peggy as the stay-at-home type. Well, she's got two full-time jobs now, wife and mother. It's longer hours and less pay, but you don't hear me complaining. I mean, uh, she already had that. She already had that before, you know what I'm saying? Like, she had a job. 
Fellas, see, some people just, they need the stimulation. Like, it, it's no, it ain't no way around it. It ain't no way around it. They need the stimulation. They need to be engaged, bro. They need to have something that's engaging to them, bro. Otherwise, they just don't fare in just regular communication with people and regular daily activities. They need to be challenged. Peggy is one of those people. <laughs> uh, seriously, you know though, we're loving too. it. She could take up an instrument. A guitar lessons. Hmm. That, now that's dope. So you know that's a few dope. chords already then? Huh? Oh, yes. I have picked up a couple from my husband and that. Oh, is that a tattoo? Uh-huh. You like it? Do I like it? Oh, <laughs> oh my. Well, so okay, little freaky ass. <laughs> I'm I <laughs> looking at. This. What makes you want to play music, Peggy? Well, my husband and I recently had to make a choice between our child and my career, and it's left me with some time to fill. Y'all didn't time. have to make that choice. Yeah, that's what I thought I was doing when I started playing music. Turned out I was really looking for a voice to scream with. Well, I don't know if my husband would appreciate screaming okay. in the house, but let's see. Ah! <laughs> well, he might have to get used to it. Bro, get your ugly ass. <laughs> Bitch, you look like something off a don't swim ugly ass, boy. Get your, your nasty, boy. The wrinkles on your face, boy. You got that Homer Simpson face. You nasty, stinky. Bad teeth, boy. God, <laughs> look at these motherfuckers. Like Tic Tacs. <laughs> That's disgusting. Ah! Ah! Okay, ugly ass. There's some milk in the fridge that's about to go bad. All right, boy, you smell a fart from miles away, huh? And there it goes. <laughs> mm, I wish I had those miracle smart pills. You know, the way no, Peggy's been baking, sure. there won't be a windowsill in our house that doesn't have a pie cooling on it. I tell you, family <laughs> values are in again at the Hill House. Yeah, you, oh, no, you're a lucky right. man, Hank. You know, my ex-wife, she was a careerist, you know, and one day I had to say to her, honey, make a choice. It's either me or the motivational poster industry. <laughs> Boy, I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> you know what the root of the problem is, don't you? Yeah, the root of the problem is my boy, he needed to make more money than his wife. That's what it really is. You know, when you're dating a career woman, and I'm sorry to say this, this don't go for every woman, so I don't want to be included in the all police, but I'm just telling y'all some real talk. Just me, from, from me and my experience, and from me having wisdom, watching other people's experience, I learned that a lot of women that are do careers that are very career motivated, they have like a certain chip on their shoulder that they that's what their focus is. Like, they're kind of, like, very masculine in the point where it's like, a man, we be focused on our career, that's our life. And then women come along into that life, and we share that with them, and yada, 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 and it's all good. But I don't think women have that same balance. Now, now don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that women can't have a career. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that women can't devote their, their life to work and projects. and That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that, like, when she's a mother or, like, a wife, but she has like a thriving career. She kind of picks either or. That's not a whole lot of work-life balance. It's like an either or. She either leans more on her career, less on the children. Or she leans, you know, vice versa. So I always just say like, bro, I, me personally, what I learned is, bro, make your money. If you a man, make your money. Get your money. Stack your money up. Start paying all the bills. Do whatever you need to do. Let her ease up on her career so she don't feel like she got to work it. So she could just work it whenever. And you know what I'm saying? It, it, it kind of like creates a really good dynamic in the house, bro. Feminism. Gloria Steinbrenner. That That's what started it. Gerald Ford should have killed her when he had the chance. Okay, now. You trip her. Get her. Beat her hey, up. Hey, I'm looking for the Hill House. The Hank Hill House? The Peggy Hill House. Mm? I'm her guitar teacher. Oh, just go right around to the front. I thought you said family values were in at your house. <laughs> yeah, I Here got we go. that gal there. She dressed kind of pro-choice. Here's one for practicing C and G. You said you wanted stuff with strong lyrics? That's right, but no cursing and no cop killing. 
I'm oh. sorry, but that is just how I was raised. That's NAACP, well, huh? You a song of your own, Peggy. Wait, what? A woman in your situation would have a lot to say. And what situation is that? Well, you know, having to give up your life's work to make things easier for the rest of your family. Yeah, I suppose a situation like that should make me want to sing. Oh, come to think of it, yesterday, the oddest little tune popped into my head. What is that? Sort of silly, but, well, you'll tell me if you think there's something to it. <clears throat> Hurry up. There once was a turtle that lived in her shell. The shell was her home and her prison as well. Okay. Whoa, there's definitely something to that. Yeah, nah, I ain't gonna think. I, and when she 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 kind of messed me up with the turtle. There once was a turtle who lives in a shell, and when you popped in, it feels like hell. I don't know what the hell she said, but I'm just saying. At the end of the day, it it, it was pretty nice. It was a metaphor for her life being effed up, being effed up. Hank is effing her life up, right in the A. Really? But thank you. You know, I had a feeling it was very very good. Every you know? girl band deserves funding. Great, I will remember that. So, okay. your guitar teacher looks pretty interesting. He mad. And by interesting, I mean weird. Well, <laughs> she is weird. And by weird, I mean interesting. Gotcha. I invited her over for dinner tomorrow. What? Now, why in the world would you do something like that? Well, because she has a tattoo, Hank. Don't you think a girl like that could use a home-cooked meal? No. <sighs> I forgot tattoos were a little weird at that time. Now it's like, whatever. You know, Emily, Hank plays guitar, too. He has a Guild Solid Top 1963. Wow. So how come you're practicing on that old plywood one, Peggy? Oh, I wouldn't think of touching Betsy. You named your guitar Betsy? Yep. It's one of my most precious possessions. That's what's up. Interesting. <laughs> Stop what judging. What's next pill? Not until after dinner, honey. I'm going to take a little nap, please. Paying attention all day tires me out. I see, boy. Oh, no, no, boy. You need to stop them drugs, boy. Yeah, a zombie, boy. A zombie, a sleepy potato head ass. <laughs> so, Emily, Peggy tells me you've been helping her write music, working with her and putting ideas in her head and such. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about that turtle song of yours. If you come up with a few more verses, you could sing it at my Mother's Day recital. You mean in front of people? Oh, well, I do miss performing. That's what a teacher is, you know. That's disrespectful, bro. Real, real quick, that's disrespectful, bro. You don't just do that. You heard that man talking to you, and then earlier, I don't know if it was the whole feminism thing, but earlier he was talking, he was like, the Hank Hill house? He said, the Peggy Hill house? Who pays the bills in this moment? Well, just uh, a anyways. great performer. It's one of the reasons children love school. Yeah, the recital's a pretty casual thing. Me and some of my students take over the back room at Earl's, drink some wine, play some songs, just kind of take a little pot shot at the holiday. Oh, Why great. would anyone want to take a pot shot at Mother's Day? Well, it's kind of bizarre, don't you think? The greeting card companies invented this holiday in 1914, and now the whole country celebrates another stereotype of what women are supposed to be. Oh, shut up! Just stop! Just stop! Like, okay, Valentine's Day, yeah, fine. Christmas, all right, fine. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Memorial Day. Come on, bro. Juneteenth. <laughs> oh, no, y'all, now y'all stop listening, bro. Oh, I said, oh, stop it, stop it. You had me until you said Juneteenth. You know, you should have said pride. Okay, but look, let's just, let's just back up here for Mother's Day, Father's Day. Honor thy mother and father figure all right it could be anybody bro stereotypical of, of what mother should be mother stop that you know what, what you, know, you know i'm gonna tell y'all something that i really hate and i'm gonna move on i'm gonna tell y'all what i really hate and i'm gonna move on i hate when women and men stop doing that a man shouldn't act like that a woman should act like this a woman shouldn't act like that bro what is wrong with just being a traditional woman what is wrong? Like, what is wrong with taking care of the kids, taking care of the household? That is a full-time job. That is a thankless job. That is a job that you're taking care of a life. That is a big job. Healthcare workers, they take care of lives. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Having to wipe someone's ass up and down, stinky hand, stinky fingers. That is a thankless job. But if somebody has to do it, it has to be done. 
Women are programmed to be a, to be the best at that. They're programmed to be the best at being a woman. Men are programmed to be the best at being a man. It's only when we try to cross and merge the two, and I'm talking about actions and responsibilities, traits and ideas. I'm not necessarily talking about anything that has to do with any sexual orientation, but I'm just saying when you mix uh, feminine and masculine and you mix the two and, and, it's, and it's not a line right, that's when all hell breaks loose, and that's why we have problems that we got today. You're not married, are you, Emily? Hell no. For this recital, what time would it be? Don't be answer that. Wine, looking like we a already sword. have plans for Mother's Day. Peggy's starting an exciting new life as a homemaker, and to celebrate, we are having brunch. But brunch can be almost any time, can it? I mean, that's the magic of brunch. But not just brunch, either. Right. So she won't have to use her brain at all, then? Exactly, exactly. With your, boy, get your radish her ass, boy. He's like, yeah, she won't have to use her brain. Yeah, so maybe she can get pampered once in a while because she puts in a lot of work. You probably don't, boy. That's right. Interesting. Oh, well, Bobby, it's time for your next meal. It's time for you to go. Uh, boy, a professional the stamp. The turtle got frightened <laughs> and wanted to hide. So she tucked her head <laughs> hey, into it's about her. the safety inside. Put it inside. Uh, Hank, you are groaning every time I sing a line. Oh, am I? I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you like my song? Hell no. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not so sure I get it. Well, there's nothing to get. It's just a song about a turtle. Yeah, no, but it's not. I think I know something about music, having listened to it a lot. And I tell you one thing, you need to put something upbeat in there. Upbeat? No. Yeah. No, that would never work in this song. Sure it would. You just tack something on at the end where it all works out. For instance, the girl turtle could meet a guy turtle and fall in love. See, then the song is really about something. Can you see oh, that? Stop. Oh, stop. Just stop. please. That is so old-fashioned, Hank. Yes, old-fashioned as in good. Just because it's old doesn't mean it's good. Let her do her own song, but I do agree, a upbeat would be, you know, it would be nice to kind of just, you know, just have a little oomph to it. <gasps> New uh, Ann's home. Look at lady. Damn, they both alert. I just don't <laughs> understand why you have to keep singing that depressing turtle song. Why I don't know either, mad? but I do. I feel very strange lately. Last night, I dreamt we had 20 children. Peggy! Oh, wow. You know I can't give you more children? I uh, have a narrow urethra. Hank, I don't think that's <laughs> what it meant at all. Well, forgive me, but I don't know how what do you, anything means anymore. How are you I thought supposed we to know? agreed to take a big step backwards together. But it sounds like you'd rather play punk music with your hippie friends on boring old Mother's Day. Well, oh, it wow. is my day. I should be able to do whatever I want. Not right. whatever you want. You can't kill a man, then you'd end up in prison. <laughs> Shut the stop, bad, bad hairline and ass. Stop, stop trying to control her. Like, bro, if you don't like her singing, just go to another room. I understand. Like, but this is her time to practice. Do you want her home? You want her board. This is what she wants to do. Let her fucking do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. And if it's bothering you, you could even ask her, like, hey, hey, look, you know, I support you on your music and your song, but this is kind of bothering me. It's a little annoying. Can you go to the other room? You know what I'm saying? And she might go ahead, get up, and just do that. But I don't know, man. It's being a little controlling and not enough supportive. And then, you know what I'm saying, all of that. And with that attitude, they'll put you in the hole. Sure. I wish I was there to shake your hand in person. So where are you kids having brunch today? Lulies? Jobos? We're shake not doing hand. brunch, Mom. Mom. Peggy decided she'd rather go to a rock concert when I was little. Oh, uh, Hank, I gotta go. Uh, Gary's here with my Mother's Day present. But that, uh, he's dropping some shit off. It's all right. Wait, Mom. I, I love you too, honey. Gotta go. Dropping that meat off. I hope you like it. I knew it. I told you. <laughs> he's I a freak. I can't return it. I tried I to study you. for my beauty exam, but I couldn't concentrate. And then I tried to figure out why, and and I got bored. You must have caught my ADD. Oh, no. And I know when, too. It was that time I sneezed in your face. That's oh, disgusting. I don't remember that. That's well, nasty, too. you were asleep. 
That's even worse. Bobby, I've got a test tomorrow morning or afternoon or evening or something. Bobby, I need that pill. Take your clothes off. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Why did I say that? Why did you make me say that? It was y'all. It was you. It be you. It be you. You make me say that. You made me say that. Fine, I said it. And I loved it. I loved it. Now I'll say it again. Tips. For president! Hey, man, hey, ain't got to tell you, man. You remember this little old lady right here, man? Uh, I certainly do. Hell Happy yeah. Mother's Day, Mrs. Boomhauer. Yeah, I tell you what, Hank, not come out here like that. You used to have a dang old rush, man. I'll raise this boy right in this little old ding, just like the best dang dang you hear. You better shut your ass up. Shut your ass up. Dim dim ding ding one dang god ding ding dang 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 you got a little closet. You got a janitor's closet. Aw. Send her back to school. <laughs> oh, no. Aw, man. Met a guy in my boxing class. I slept with him before I kicked his ass. Oh, what? <laughs> all right, all right. If, if if they say men are misogynist, what is that? What is the opposite of misogynist? Hold on, let me look that up. It's misandry. Misandry. That is the hatred of contempt for or prejudice against men or boys. Misandry, aha. Yeah, we gonna learn some new words today. Oh, yes. Yes. We're going to learn some new work. Mistandry. I think I'm saying it right. Out. Just remember, Peggy, you came here because you have something to say, and it might be complex. Turtles are complex. Yes, they are. Say what but you when you say, say something from the heart, it always comes out right. Hi, Mom. Bobby. Honey, what are you doing here? Well, we figured today was your special day. And since you're singing a special song, we thought you should have a special guitar to okay. play it on. I know that's right. Betsy. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. He came through. Hey, That's what I want romantic. you to give a lot of support to our next artist, Peggy Hill, everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Peggy's here to sing a song about how a woman feels when the world tells her who she has to be. Huh? Oh, no, actually, I'm singing the one about the turtle that's stuck in her shell. <laughs> you see, people just like to paint agendas on you, bro. Like, label you as what come on like don't put don't don't project your feelings on me you know what i'm saying and i'd like to dedicate this to my husband <laughs> <laughs> see you see there, there was, was, was a turtle who lived in her shell the shell was her home and her prison as well <laughs> you see they only care when people when they're talking about being victims like, when she's talking about being a victim, like, they're like, oh, my God, victims, ah! Misandry. Misandry. I said it. Uh, yeah, you, you with the One bad haircut. One day she got frightened. She wanted to hide. So she tucked her head into the safety inside. That's right, that's right girl. That's right. Misandry. Then came a moment of terrible doubt. Oh. She could not find any head hole to poke out. Get rid of this trophy. Leave him. Fight corporate way male oppression. This is the male oppression. I thought the song was just about a turtle, Dad. Right. Yeah, right. I did too. It sang the magical love of a turtle. Yeah, yeah, that, watch they don't clap. Watch they don't clap. Yeah. 
Oh, man. Right. Kind of copped out at the end there, didn't she? No, she didn't, fat chin ass. Now that gal can write music. Oh, no, that's right. Oh, you mad, Samantha. Get your ass out Maybe of here. Maybe the problem you is duck. you've got too much oh. mother in you. Oh, go on. One kid. <laughs> duck went to the pond. <laughs> I spit. My bad. Been happening a lot lately. What happened when I don't get no put? I tell you, today I really noticed his behavior improve. Uh, I didn't take my medicine today. <laughs> what? Why not, honey? Because Luann needed it. Is that Luann? <laughs> Welcome home. I cooked your brunch, and I changed your car, and I fixed your mower, and I ate the brunch. <laughs> I kicked your brunch, I changed the car, I fixed the mower, I ate your brunch. <laughs> hmm. That's cool. Maybe I... we should read a little more about that medicine hike. Yeah. Yeah, couldn't hurt. Yeah, because she's tripping. Look at her. I just don't put your kids on medicine if you can help it, bro. Like, please. Man, a lot of these d diseases and all this shit have been made up. You know what I'm saying? They said, well, Quizzy, you got ADHD. I'm like, bro, you know, I. It's, it's, they always try to tell you, like, Quizzy, you can't seem to stay on topic for more than one second. I'm like, of course I can stay on topic. You know, you know those ducks. Those ducks. I was, you no, know, see what I was thinking about was ducks. Those ducks went to the pond, jumped down, had hopscotch playing hopscotch with a fox. Could have invested in Bitcoin. I just chose not to. I just chose not to invest in Bitcoin, and that was my problem. That's not your problem, all right? So when we talk about Luann jumping up and down, you could go get a hair degree if only you had $74 or Tree Fitty. What are we talking about?